Hello and happy Monday. Jan here. We are actually on Facebook right now live, but you are also listening on Media and Marketing Podcast. Thank you, everybody, coming in here. And thank you all for subscribing and voting and reviewing all of that good stuff. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, today, this broadcast is brought to you by chaosmap.com. How about them apples? C-H-A-O-S-M-A-P.com. That is the agency that uh, I started over 10 years ago where we focus on Google ads, Facebook ads, content, SEO, and really digital strategies that drive not only traffic, but very importantly, customers, clients, patients, and conversions that help grow your business. So there is your sales pitch. So that's chaosmap.com. Head on over there and you could submit a form and request more information. But today we're going to talk about something really exciting. And I always say that, but you know what? This is exciting, the topic of digital. And the more you learn, the more you earn, as the expression goes. And here is an example of that, learning how to write, learning how to position copy so that your brand, your products, your services, whether you're a solopreneur or a multi-million billion conglomerate, you need to have copy and content uh, developed. And specifically today, we're talking about copywriting for ads and also specifically Facebook ads. But as you can imagine, if you're writing copy for Facebook and you've done that research well and you've put that out there, it's going to probably work for Google, although that is a, in air quotes, disclaimer, not always, right? Um, each platform has a different uh, communication sort of, uh, how should I say, essence to it, right? Uh, Facebook, as you know, is more interruption driven. I mean, it's totally interruption driven. We're scrolling all day long. We're trying to get your attention with, you know, strategic graphics and videos with copy and headlines that, uh, you know, essentially stop that thumb scroll, but also draws you in to create uh, attention and uh, an engagement so that you move through the funnel. And it starts with that first click um, after the thumb scroll. And um, while I say, as I mentioned, this is Facebook, uh, it is also, uh, it applies everywhere and to Google as well, but Google is intent driven. So if you want to uh, search for a specific uh, uh, problem in your life, you're not necessarily going to go to Facebook and start scrolling. You're going to hit Google and you're going to go direct. And that is what we call intent driven search. But both of them together, very powerful because we know the the um, the essence of retargeting and remarketing where a pixel uh, essentially gets uh, triggered so that these systems can then show more ads to you, but also personalize it by creating warmer uh, uh engagement through the the funnel but <clears throat> the funnel but we've talked a lot about these things so i'm not gonna cover that today <clears throat> so here we are talking about copywriting books and uh we're talking about the top five and i'm gonna go through here with you right now and if you have any others that you'd like to add please feel free to do so number one breakthrough advertising heavy read here but this is really the core of everything that we do uh, in advertising land. And especially when it comes to Facebook, that's what I'm sort of talking about here today. Um, but this is the Bible, I would say, for copywriters. And it's uh, hard to get this book it's written in the 60s, and it is uh, $100, $150 and now to actually buy. And there's some high-end copies of this, you know, four or $500 I've heard. So you know, why is that? Well, it's that special, you know, it's that unique. It's so profound, uh, written back in the 60s, and it still applies today. So, you know, one of the questions we get is, well, why do you do so much research on copywriting if it was written, you know, decades ago? You, you know, the formulas are essentially there. And that is absolutely true. That's why we use these books, right? I mean, many books, many resources, obviously. Uh, but Eugene Schwartz and Breakthrough Advertising is one of those. But we apply these formulas to current day, and it's amazing how well these things work. Uh, if uh, Mr. Eugene Schwartz was awake, awake, alive is a better term today, then uh, I think he would be floored by the capabilities, not only from a technology perspective, of course, but the ability to use this to actually retrofit into his formulas from the book. So absolutely highly recommended breakthrough advertising. Number two here, uh, I have it right here in my office. Tested Advertising Methods by John Caples. 
revised by Fred E. Hahn and forward by the master David Ogilvy. Uh, we're talking about the the, the senior masters, the uh, the players of the day uh, that took their ads and their copy and advertorials to you know 10x levels, right? Talking about Grant Cardone here, right? Well, 10x man, 10x baby, all the way here. This is one that we've used a lot. In fact, we've used it here internally, and I've used it uh, on this podcast by getting great ideas for headlines that attract. You know, um, John Capel's was sort of considered the headline master, if you will. And there was no such thing as, yeah, I have a couple of ideas for a headline. This was, you know, uh, you know, I, I was almost going to say hundreds of headlines, but, you know, uh, multitudes, you know, plentiful headlines that were scrutinized and evaluated and essentially distilled down to become the, the, the powerhouse headlines uh, that they are today. So definitely tested advertising methods must get that book and you can get it on Amazon as well very easily but here's what's interesting if you get the digital copy that's fine but actually get the real copy you know get the actual printed version and sit aside and get some pen and paper out and start taking notes because it is that powerful in terms of the learning but also the things that you through your own brain mechanisms of the human mind can get distilled down to actionable results um well, highly recommended that process right there. Okay, let's dig into number three here, how to write a good advertisement by Victor Schwab, another one of the favorites back in the day uh, that owned the advertising and copy world in terms of their presence, but also their expertise and knowledge, and also the way that they approach this. Um, I think, uh, uh, you know, it's probably, I'm not sure if it's publicly known, but I would, uh, you know, bet my shirt uh, on this, that these guys, while they obviously were craftsmen at the, uh, uh, at uh, you know the uh, the well the craft of ads, uh, copy, etc., they understood the human psyche. So psychology here, and if you've listened to my broadcast, you've heard me talk a lot about math and psychology. So understanding really where is that poor prospect at. At, at that moment when you reach them, you're trying to essentially enter the conversation that's going on in their mind at that moment. Well, this type of communication and level of engagement uh, doesn't just come from, you know, putting out a special and a price reduction. You have to go deeper. And of course, we also know that the customer journey is complex. You know, we talk about the seven rule, uh, um, the rules of marketing where you have to have at least seven touch points. Well, uh, there are studies now from Google saying, uh, and I think this was a specific one that was done last year, a couple of years ago, uh, where they did a, um, well, they do, of course, mul multiple tests on this, you know, uh, un underwhelmingly so, uh, where a lady was researching a car. I think it was a Honda or something. And there was some 200 and plus something touch points before she decided on which one to go with, et cetera. So, again, very complex here. And we talk about the human mind, but also the customer journey you know is the first touch point are they a cold traffic type of person are they further down the funnel they're a little bit warmer or the they are they hot buyers so when you uh, pick up these books you know learn the formulas so learn about their approaches and the headlines and the structures and the the frameworks but don't simply just apply this to any and all right you have to research your marketplace you have to research your audience you have to also make sure that you're talking to them at the right time at the right place at the right medium at that moment uh, where they're in uh, during that uh, customer journey all right here is another favorite a uh, lot of this information is free the boron letters for the master of print gary c halbert uh, died way too young updated by his son bond halbert here the boron letters uh, some of that is a uh, hilarious read and you're thinking, hmm, I'm not sure if this applies, uh, just stories and stories. Well, hint, hint, stories, the master of positioning here. And uh, uh, Gary was asked one time at a seminar, you know, what would you want, um, you know, from, uh, from uh, you know, somebody, I think it was uh, McDonald's or something like that, to, like trying to write some copy for burgers, right? And so you know, food, essentially. Uh, what uh, what do you actually think is the most important thing uh, with that? And, um, you know, a lot of hands went up, like location, you know, pricing, uh, you know, good taste, uh, you know, keep them coming, right? And uh, and Gary was uh, quoted as have said, no, that's 
not really it. In fact, none of that is what he would want. What he said he wanted was a hungry crowd, a starving crowd. And it makes a lot of sense, right? And that speaks volumes to what I just said is all these formulas mean nothing if you can't actually target and speak to that audience that is hungry for your stuff. And some of that stuff that's being sold out there is just pushed in somebody's face, right? Nobody wants that. Everybody likes to buy. Nobody likes to be sold, et cetera, right? So think about this as you're reading this and how you can <clears throat> apply these formulas and structures, as I mentioned, to your world. All right. So the final one here <clears throat> by Joe Sugarman, uh, the uh, ultimate blue blocker guy back in the day, uh, the Adweek Copywriting Handbook. Uh, also have this in hard copy here in the office, an absolute uh, clear winner in terms of like rounding out the top five here. Uh, for copywriting books for Facebook ads and also for just positioning, you know, sales letter and video sales letter, anything you're, you're doing using these uh, frameworks and these approaches from the masters themselves is an absolute must. This is the ultimate guide to writing powerful advertising and marketing copy from one of America's top copywriters. So a quick broadcast today. Let me recap. So uh, these uh, are the books you should read. Break th Breakthrough Advertising, Eugene Schwartz. Tested Advertising Methods, John Caples. How to Write a Good Advertisement, Victor Schwab. The Boron Letters, Gary Halbert. And the Adweek Copywriting Handbook by Joe Sugarman. So, hey, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this uh, presentation today. I always like making these. And I went quickly through some books here. Now it's up to you. It's over to you, my friend. Uh, hopefully you'll take this and uh, start taking action. I would say Breakthrough Advertising is a heavy read. But uh, there's some essences in that that will probably get you started real quick. And you should really get all of them. And um, you don't have to obviously read them in succession. You can kind of flip flop a bit, but uh, make sure that you uh, get the essence of this and apply it to your business. And if you want more information, of course, head on out to C-H-A-O-S-M-A-P. That's chaosmap.com and uh, fill out the form there. Just set up, a, a, you can actually send a, a request in there and we'll help you out with this if you need copy and if you need materials written. And again, I talk a lot about ads here, but clearly these books and these resources will help you write emails as well. And we use some of these uh, strategies and these approaches uh, ourselves. And it's, uh, it's actually very helpful because when we talk to clients, we also have um, you know, these frameworks to show them uh, so that they understand uh, the general approach. All right. Well, thank you all for coming in today and I'll talk to you later. Yawn out. Take it easy now.